Good morning from Amsterdam. My name is Ivana and today's most important job that needs to be done is finish editing the vlogs uh, for you guys because I need to work ahead. Tomorrow we are going on a surprise trip. No idea where we're going. Actually, you can know if you check my Instagram because I probably already revealed it there. So I moved my office into the bed. And I'm going to work here because sometimes my back starts to ache when I sit at the table for too long and the bed is like my favorite office ever. Let's do this! Wow, the first Hamburg vlog took so long to edit. I had like 30 minutes of footage. Seriously, every time I'm, um, I stop vlogging and then I start again, or when I didn't travel for a while and then I start traveling again. I film so much. I film way too much. I don't know if you guys like these long, long vlogs. But sometimes I feel it's okay. Like for instance in a weekend or something. Like 20 minute vlogs. It's okay. But when we leave tomorrow. I will definitely be a little bit more careful on how much I film. Because it's not just the filming. It also, it's also the editing. Like you have to edit so long if you have so much footage. And I don't mind, I love doing it, but uh, at the same time, if it's just too much, then it's just too much, you know? It is now 3.30 p.m. I think I'm gonna have lunch. I don't know what I... Oh, uh, we have some leftover soup from yesterday, yeah. Let's grab that, my friends. Ugh, what are you doing today? Today's Thursday. Oh, wait, let's talk about new travel plans, by the way. But first, let me grab some food. Wait, 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 let me eat first. Let me just relax a little bit because uh, after you edit for like one or two hours, uh, it all gets so fuzzy. Uh, nuts. No. Lunch. So last night's uh, red bell pepper and uh, bean soup. See, everything is fuzzy. Also, I'm going to watch Liza. Liza Koshi. Oh, need some relaxation, man. Nom, 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 nom. And some food to fuel the brain. Mm. You know what the biggest mistake is that people make during a crisis situation? I worked in PR for six years and also got to experience a little bit of crisis uh, communication. Not that much. But um, what they taught me is always eat. Eat because otherwise you'll make dumb decisions. And also, you know, if you're still in school, um, you can't learn if you don't have the fuel to fuel your brain to fuel your brain my friend you need to eat mm. It's almost 8:30. finished the second video for Sunday and I still have two more videos to go Also wash my hair. I am so tired. Wish I could go to bed right now, but I can't I'm gonna eat first um, Same soup because I still have some soup left and after that I need to finish two videos send out an email and then um pack yes the same soup for the third time but then i finished it and i hate throwing away food so that's why oh i also added some cottage cheese for extra protein finished editing finally it is 10 30 and i can start packing now i am beyond tired beyond tired and therefore i've taken the executive decision to not travel next week because I was planning on going to Thailand or and Vietnam and Hong Kong or Indonesia anywhere in Southeast Asia uh, where it's warm but a YouTube event came up on the 23rd of February uh, and I want to attend it as a YouTube ambassador uh, so I couldn't go for like five weeks uh, the only time left was about 10 days or two weeks or something and I don't think it's worth going you know that distance for only two weeks if i go to asia i want to stay there for at least like five or six weeks or something so i was thinking about morocco morocco that's right i never thought about morocco but just recently it's been popping up and i'm like morocco why not because it's warm it's uh, 20 plus degrees and it's also a three hour flight from the netherlands so quite nearby and yeah, so I wanted to go actually next week, but then I thought I am so beyond tired. Maybe I should catch my breath for a little bit, stay in the Netherlands until the beginning of March. So yeah, I know it may sound crazy, but in December and January I have been at home. But you've seen all the videos that I put out and I loved it. 
but at the same time and this is what always gets to me i don't notice how much it exhausts me and at one point i'm like i am so exhausted i am so tired i am beyond tired i don't know what is going on with me that's how i got my burnout because i do not register when i need to rest and now I registered, I'm like, I'm so tired. I'm not going anywhere next week. I'm just staying in the Netherlands until the beginning of March. And then we are probably going to Morocco for three weeks. So I definitely want to see Shashuen. I think I'm going to fly to Tanger. Uh, I want to go to es Esaura. Esaura. I don't know how you pronounce it, but like the, it's nearby the ocean. Uh, yeah, so I have an old friend of mine who's crazy about the country. Uh, she is helping me now with um, by giving me advice on where to go and what to do and la 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 la. And I'm, I'm very excited about Morocco as an option and I hope you guys are too. So it's definitely a change of plans. Um, in April I'm making some plans. So, I, well, if everything goes according to plan, I would be traveling the whole of April. Um, at the end of May, beginning of June, and then in June, at the end of June, beginning of July, I'm going back to India because I want to travel in the mountains and you need to do that in summer. So that's, that's the outlook for now. If you were curious about the new travel plans, you see, that's the life of a travel vlogger. It changes every week and I love it. I love having the control to, you know, decide, okay, not right now not right now i need to rest so uh yeah the only thing left for me to do is pack 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 well so much for filming the packing process basically bottom stops uh underwear i got heels here and i'm taking uh flats and my trucks i'll do toilet trace tomorrow morning and also like the final things with the laptop and yada 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 so if you would like to travel with nadine and me to a mystery destination we still have no clue where we're going we're going to find out tomorrow at 8 a.m at Schiphol. okay so i'm gonna type in the code 6460 nadine are you ready well click that subscribe button and if you like this vlog you can always put a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye